Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to solve the numerical problem for my FSC chemistry part 1, chapter number 1, and the exercise, the question number 18. This is Aghawasif Ali Khan, and I'm going to let you know how we're going to solve this problem. So let's just begin. Alright, let's first just see the statement of the problem. Okay. Okay, it states that the metal M when it reacts with sulfur uh, to form a compound M2S3, if 3.12 grams of metal M react with 2.88 grams of sulfur to give M2S3, then we need to find out the following. And what is that? Uh, what is the metal M and what is the compound M2S3? This is a similar problem as we saw earlier in question number 11 we're going to use the same rules over here as well so let's just begin and see how can we solve it I'm not going to discuss that numerical again because uh, you can uh, watch the video that lecture the question number 11 from the exercise uh, 1 of the chapter 1 so let me just uh, briefly again go through this uh, statement of the numerical uh, a metal M reacts with sulfur so we have uh, a metal M that is reacting with sulfur uh, and it forms a compound of the M2S3 uh, if 3.12 grams of the metal M react with 2.88 grams of sulfur to give M2S3 then we are asked to identify what will be the metal M and what is going to be the compound M2S3 so this is not a very difficult numerical but it is uh, a tricky one so let's just uh, go to go uh, let's just move ahead and see how can we do that all right we are asked to determine the compound uh, m2s3 and uh, and also the metal m we can determine the compound the we can identify the compound if we know the metal m okay let's uh, let me tell you something which is going to be very helpful for you in solving any kind of numerical whether from physics or chemistry uh, I have seen students which who get confused whenever they are solving uh, some kind of some any numerical in physics or chemistry they get confused how to start with the numerical what should be the beginning which formula uh, which f they should use uh, and then go on in order to solve the numerical it's a very simple method and I call it the back met backward method And I'm just gonna give you example in, uh, of of of, uh, of this backward method for solving this numerical because I think this numerical is a bit tr tricky one, and I'm gonna apply this backward method in solving this numerical. So what you can do, you can make a brief sketch of the numerical and then go with the numerical for solving that numerical. All right. So let's let's what you have to identify. You have to identify just like that. I have written down here that is A and B. A is what what is the metal M and what is the compound M2S3 so the second question is M2S3 the second thing you are asked to do that is what the compound is going to be M2S3 you can only determine this M2S3 if you know the metal M alright and how can you identify the metal M I have a uh, uh, brief in the last numerical I solved in the question number 11 of the exercise 1 of the chemistry part 1 book that, that an element can be identified from the molecule mass uh, from the its atomic mass or its atomic number so here we are going to again solve again identify the metal from its atomic mass so you can determine the metal M if you know the atomic mass that is uh, mass number of the metal Remember that mass number is also called as atomic mass. Okay, so this is going to be the key how to determine this mass number because if you know the mass number, then you can identify the metal from the periodic table. Periodic table. Remember that I am solving this. 
remember that I'm solving this numerical uh, using the backward method what I have um, I am asked to uh, determine is M2S3 and I can determine M2S3 if I know the metal M and metal M can be identified if I know the mass number of the metal and it can be identified from, from periodic table that is metal M if you know the mass number of the metal then how can we determine the mass number of the metal this is another thing the mass number can be identified if you know the number of moles of the metal remember that moles are represented by small n so you need to know determine the number of moles of the metal element how can we determine the number of moles we have formula moles are equal to mass over the molar mass but there's something else we're not going to use this formula in this case because this formula can work when you are given the mass and you know the molar mass in this case we are going to do something else we are going to make a comparison you are going to do the comparison you can you you are going to determine the moles of the metal m from the here in this case from the other element you are given here that is you're going to make do a comparison between the metal m and the other element is sulfur here so you are going to make a molar comparison between the metal m and sulfur from the balanced chemical equation all right so we need to write down the balanced chemical equation for this purpose okay but balanced chemical equation again require the moles of sulfur so before making a comparison you need to determine the moles of sulfur and in this case we are going to use the formula that is n is equal to mass over molar mass or the atomic mass so this is the big this will be the beginning of your uh, the this will be the beginning of solving this numerical that determining the moles of sulfur why is going it is going to be the beginning because we are given the mass of sulfur here see this we are given the mass of sulfur here so we can determine the number of moles of sulfur from here then we are going to do the comparison this will go this is going to be the first step that is determining the mass of this is going to be our first step the second step is going to be the comparison between the uh, sulfur and mm, metal m having done that when we are we have determined the mass of the uh, sorry moles of the metal m from the moles of the sulfur then we are going to do uh, we are going to determine the uh, the we are going to determine the mass of that is atomic mass of metal m this is going to be our third step and having done that we can identify the metal m from the prior table and when you uh, have identified the metal m then you can simply come to know what will be the compound m2s3 so this is how you can solve any kind of numerical and not getting confused from where to start you just have to do the backward method what you are asked to do just write it down and then think how can you do this m2s3 can be identified if you know the metal m how can you determine the metal m i have told you that any element can be identified if you know its atomic number or atomic mass in this case you require atomic mass and how can you identify the atomic mass if you do not know the moles of the metal m although you are given the mass of the metal m here see in this case this is the mass mass of the, mass of the metal m so you can determine the moles of the metal so we can determine the moles of the metal m by its comparison with sulfur we cannot use this formula moles is equal to moles equal to mass over molar mass for this metal m this is because in this formula there are three factors number one is moles number two is mass 
and number three is molar mass in order to identify in order to calculate any one quantity you need two quantities in this case you have only one quantity available that is the mass of the metal m and which is 3.12 grams for the for this purpose you need to identify moles first by comparison with sulfur and then you have to rearrange this equation in order to determine the molar mass that will be the atomic mass of the metal m all right let's just begin and see how we can calculate this uh, how can we determine the metal how can we identify sorry and then the compound m2s3 all right what we are given here for this numerical uh, we are given the two quantities one is the mass of the metal m and that is 3.12 grams the second quantity the second factor we are given here that is the mass of sulfur and it is equal to 2.8 8 gram and what we need to these these two things are we are given here and what we are going to do we are going to use these values in order to determine the metal m and the compound m2s3 all right the first step was for this numerical to determine the moles of sulfur so we are going to determine the we are going to calculate the moles of sulfur from the given mass of the sulfur so moles of sulfur will be equal to the mass of sulfur and that is 2.88 grams divided by its molar mass we know that the mass of the molar mass that is the atomic mass of sulfur is actually 32.085 gram I hope you can see it from here uh, it's 32.085 so we're going to use this value okay 32 point I'm not I'm gonna round off to 0 0.085 so let's just see it's going to be the answer for this 2.88 divided by 32 and the answer comes out to be 0 0.09 0 0.09 mole so these are the mole of sulfur we're going to use this value of sulfur uh, and for to make a comparison it to make a comparison with metal m we have sold the number of moles for sulfur and now we're going to do we're going to do a comparison second step of this numerical problem okay sorry okay <coughs> let's make a comparison so for the first of all before making a comparison uh, we need to write down the balanced chemical equation uh, so this is the balanced chemical equation we're going to use I'm going to put it down over here okay this equation has already been balanced how I did that let me just put it down metal M is reacting with sulfur and giving a M2 as 3 you can see that there are two moles two atoms of or two moles of metal M so I need to put it down here in order to balance it and three moles of sulfur so I need to put down three here in order to balance it 
you can say that this equation is balanced just like that okay so from this equation we're going to make a comparison sorry I'm gonna do that okay let's do it all right you can see that there are sulfur there are three moles of sulfur reacting with two moles of metal m three moles of sulfur reacting with two moles of metal m and what if we have one mole of sulfur then it would react with two divided by three moles of metal m but we have calculated that for for these grams of sulfur that is 0 0.09 moles so 0 0.09 mole if we have these number of moles then how many moles of metal would be produced oh, sorry okay the 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 0 0.09 this is the value of one sulf mole of sulfur and I have multiplied it with 0 0.09 in order to get number of moles of metal M for 0 0.09 moles of sulfur ok let's just calculate that 2 divided by 3 multiplied with 0 0.09 and the answer comes out to be 0 0.06 moles okay 0 0.06 mole so these are the number of mole of metal m which would react with 0 0.09 that, 0 .9, that is 2.88 grams of sulfur and produce a compound m2s3 so this is what the second step we uh, were to solve we were to now what we're gonna do we're gonna use this value of moles uh, and we were all already already given the mass of the metal M and then we are gonna determine the molar mass that will be the atomic mass of the metal M let's see okay this was at step number one and this is the step number two and I'm gonna put down the step three over here okay how we're gonna do that we know that the number of moles equal to mass divided by molar mass that will be the atomic mass I'm gonna just rearrange this formula molar mass will be equal to m that is the mass divided by number of moles so let's just fill in the values mass we are given the mass of the metal m uh, 3.12 grams so 3.12 grams divided by number of moles for the metal were 0 0.06 so 0 0.06 here let's just calculate it 3.12 divided by 0 0.06 and the answer comes out to be 52 if I'm saying this is molar mass and I have to put down the unit gram per mole so these are the this is the molar mass of the metal M so just replacing this unit gram per mole with AMU it would be the atomic mass of the metal M so metal M sorry atomic mass that is the mass number of metal M is fifty two AMU. So we're gonna need we're gonna just find this value from the power table and see 
which element has the atomic mass that is the mass number of 52 ahm okay let's see that so this is 44 I hope now you can clearly see that 47 okay I, uh, I already have pointed out 51.996 is of chromium so this is the molar mass of that is sorry the atomic mass of chromium okay so we this is this was our question one question a that what will be the metal m so just put down this symbol and replace it replacing uh, to uh, replace the m to s3 metal m to s3 was the compound which we were to identify and just replace the metal m and put down cr here then it's gonna be cr2s3 so here is our answer for the question b so i hope you understood i have tried to be very native if there are any queries any questions you can put down them in the comment box and also subscribe the channel for more videos for more numericals and more lectures coming ahead soon thank you see you allah hafiz